Hello everyone and welcome back to Starship Creator. Today I'll be working on the creation of a Sovereign class starship. You see here we're on the class selection screen so I'll go ahead and add in a registry number. In this case I'm going to use 77953. Now we'll move on to the structure. Commencing assembly for new Sovereign class Starfleet vessel. Just take a quick scroll through the options for the nacelles. Okay, now let's look at the hull. Hmm. Maybe we'll try that one, see what that looks like. Now let's look at the saucer. Interesting shapes there. I'll stick with the original there and go for the number two on the cells. Got some kind of long ones there. So let's see what that looks like. Processing. Assembling structure. Take a look around from different angles. So the cells are a little on the long side, but I think it'll work. So that being settled, we'll move on to naming. Processing. I'll name this one the Franklin. Here we have the USS Franklin, and we'll confirm the name and structure. And now Processing. We're, we're ready to add some systems. Let's start with the impulse engines. Get our better ones. Now, like the Defiant class that we did last time. The Sovereign class will, of course, have good weapons and defensive systems. However, it should also be better equipped with things like science labs and other things related to exploration. Get a Class 11 matter antimatter reactor. Get a few antimatter storage pods. Ten gigawatt fusion reactor. Definitely want the bigger deuterium storage tank. Yes, only the finest power distribution network. And as much redundancy for auxiliary power as we can get. Put in some phaser arrays. See what's the maximum? Six? Well, let's go with the full six. We want our sovereign to be fully armed. Put in a couple of launchers for our photon torpedoes. So we have, well, 300. That might be a bit excessive. However, we don't want to run out like Voyager did, so maybe we'll go with 50 there. And I also put in some quantums. Let's see how many of those we can put in. That will go with 25. Okay. That covers the weapons. Go over to our defensive systems, navigational deflector. Mm, enhanced shields. Oh, that's a bonus. Oh, those are some strong shields right there. Got everything there? Yes. Some science. Not that many sensors to choose from. Have to do the best we can. Hmm, no labs here either, huh? Thought the flagship would have at least a few. I guess later on I'll have to do a more science-oriented ship to show the full range of um, scientific facilities that are available in the game. Got a couple of computer cores for redundancy. Another bioneural net for our data network.
internal comm system, RF transceivers, subspace radio, and our universal translator. Okay, move over to transport and cargo. Our main shuttle bay, and we'll put in an auxiliary as well. We do have some more options for shuttlecrafts here than before. We'll put in the shuttle pod, a Type 16, and another shuttle pod. I want to go fully equipped with shuttles. No, it worked for Voyagers, so it'll work for our Sovereign class here. A couple of cargo transporters. The main transporter room. We'll put in a couple of extra transporter rooms as well. Oops, uh, I'll put in maybe five emitters. And same with our targeting scanners. Okay, cargo bays. Plenty, well, plenty of room for cargo. Plenty of tractor beams, too. It's so, everything there. Life support. Life support. Always a plus. Comfortable, modest, or spartan. Oh, we'll kind of split the difference and go with modest. Let's see what kind of crew population we can get there. 550? Oh, sounds good. Medical systems, only the, only the best for the flagship. We're in a couple of lounges for the crew to relax in. You know, utilities, things like inertial dampers. Complex turbo lift system. Although it looks like child's play compared to that stuff on Discovery. Well, that's not really Star Trek, so that makes sense. And a structural integrity field. Okay, uh, our systems look good. Let's move over to pick the uh, senior staff. Processing. Since last time I have added some more uh, candidates in addition to the ones that come with the game, so let's Available take a look. Crew candidate. I'll get uh, Captain Bridger as the captain of our ship. Captain assigned. For Chief Engineer, Ensign Lucas Wallencheck. Chief Engineer, assigned. Okay, for Security Officer. Let's see, I'll go with Wharf. Security Officer, assigned. Communications Officer. To somebody we haven't used yet, that would be good for that. And Kim? Sure, why not? Communications officer assigned. Okay, first officer. Hmm. Let's, go, let's go with two box. First officer assigned. Science officer. with Chad Zia for a science officer. Science officer assigned. Chief medical officer. We'll get the doctor. Chief medical officer assigned. And for counselor, the best person for that position is clearly Darwin. Counselor assigned. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up there for today, but next time, stay tuned for more exciting missions with our Sovereign class, USS Franklin. I hope everyone has a blessed day.